So I'm here to talk to you about MySQL and none of this NoSQL stuff. We're all MySQL fans and we all like the relational model. But to start, I can describe what the relational model is. Next slide. A consistent transactional data store with schema guarantees that uses the relational algebra to access normalized tables. We all know it, we all like it. It's used everywhere. Why is it used everywhere? Because it has ubiquitous accessor classes and a deep bench of skilled architects, developers, and operations staff, e.g. all of us. There is a problem, though. It's not as fast as we would like it to be. So, you know, if we make a couple of compromises, we write some code, ah, it'll get fast enough. The first thing we do is we do replication, write master, read slave, because, you know, we really didn't like the accessor class that came with our ORM, so we'll write it again. And we didn't need perfect consistency anyway. But, you know, sometimes even then it's not fast enough, so we make a few more compromises, we give up, give up a little bit more, we write some more code, and here's what we get. More replication, lots of read slaves, because we meant to rewrite that accessor class again, because we didn't like it the first time. Plus, you know, you really meant to get into MatKit really deeply anyway. But what if it's not fast enough again? Well, there are other things we can do. There's some magic pixie dust, or rather, a horde of magic rabbits we can pour onto it. Memcache, because Ah, screw consistency, and consistency entirely, and we didn't need anything that looked like a transaction. And you know, you really meant to rewrite the entire application anyway. <laughs> but it's still not fast enough, and now it's too big to fit on your machine. So give up a little bit more, is make, um, and shard. It's because you meant to buy lots and lots of machines, and you meant to hire lots more operation staff because you know that's good for the economy. And you know, you needed to rewrite the application, and you know, the developers were never using joins right in the first place anyway. <laughs> but now, your ma right masters, they are bottlenecked. Well, we're using MySQL because it's cheap, right? And our sites are making buttloads of money, so we have lots of money to spend on the solution. Who cares about scaling out? Let's scale up. Spend all of that money. Bigger servers, expensive fast raids, let's start buying those SSDs, faster switches, you know, just buy more and more bigger computer, and we get rid of the bottleneck, right? But now our bosses are telling us we want them, he wants the thing up 24 by 7. And we added all these machines, they're crashing all the time, the site's going down all the time. Well, what do I do now? I know, DRBD, more raid, slave promotion, because, you know, we all wanted to learn how to recompile our Linux kernel, load beta drivers, and write lots of really fragile scripts. <laughs> now that we've gotten this big and we have our table spread across a thousand machines, we can't run alter table anymore. It takes days. Well, you only need to write it one more time. <laughs> you didn't need the schema anyway. So you put all of your data in one column named data, you pack it in a JSON format, and now your developers are happy. <laughs> so we had to give up a few things. Ah, it didn't do the strike through. We gave up the consistency, the transactions, the schema, the guarantees, the relation algebra, the normalization, the tables, but we still do have data access. Um. <laughs> and well, the accessor classes are all custom to us and there's a deep bench of, well, not so experienced architects, developers, and operations staff. That is us. Thank you very much.